Shalom. All right. Shalom. 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 We are the brothers coming at you from the gym at Camp Atlanta Church. Now, before we continue on with this lesson, we would like to give our honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chakwadash. Give a double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace of and citations towards your hope or let this be sincerely pushing of truth. Now, um, again, we're coming at you in the spirit of power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, that the whole world is really called God Jesus Christ, for those who don't know. And we're just going to do a quick lesson concerning prophecy. You know, there's a lot of heavy um, prophecy going on right now concerning World War III, concerning the um, MOTB, which is um, mentioned in Revelation, the 13th chapter, so on and so forth. All right, because why? We're witnessing the end times. We are living in the end times. And eventually, we're just going to see Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, all right, the only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, soon to return and avenge us. And Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number to be delivered. So, um... You know, if any brother didn't have anything to say, we can get right into it. Okay, I can start out with this second entrance nine. Okay, kind. Um, by the way, this is um, the brother Shalomar from the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. And um, yeah, through the spirit, uh, we're just gonna uh, get uh, what's going on to going on today. And I want to start out with second entrance nine in chapter one. It says, chapter nine and verse one, it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in, in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Mm -hmm. And he's visiting this um, world which he made through plagues, you know, earthquakes, um, um, pestilences, sorrows, limitations, judgments, okay, war, uprising of the people. This is all the will of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. And that's why we started off with this um, precept. Matter of fact, just right quick, brother, can you just hit that article right quick? Uh, Baku Shah. Well, I, I got a couple of them. Um, the what the stock market? Uh, oh, uh, the first one you brought out. Okay, kind. Mm -hmm. This is uh, ABC News. Uh, today it says U.S. sends more fighter jets and ships to Middle East ahead of possible Iranian retaliation. Which, which aligns up to prophecy. And that's why, uh, again, we're bringing out Second Ezra's 9 because these are one of the main prophecies that we should actually uh, measure, okay? And when I say measure uh, the, the time diligently, that's actually looking at the spiritual signs that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah has set forth for us. So um, it basically let us know when he's basically going to come. And this lets us know he's soon soon to return, you know? Yep. You got um, anything to say? Uh, I got a preset right quick. Okay, go on. Uh, second Ezra chapter 15 and verses 49 and it reads I will send plagues upon thee widowhood poverty famine sword and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death so there's going to be more um, events like this uh, these markets plunging mm -hmm. you know earthquakes in diverse places and for you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans voting it's not gonna get it. You know, you know, I just got done, you know, driving around at the plantation and all you seeing is uh vote for this person, vote for that candidate. You know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But there's gonna be more and more signs that point to prophecy and it pointing to the end of uh Esau's reign. Mm -hmm. so if I could I will add to you, um a lot of this voting it, it's possible that it could be done for no reason because um if there's a major war, you can't switch presidents. Mm -hmm. So Kamala is pretty much stepping up to, uh, you know, because Biden, he, he, he's, he's, he, he, he not cutting it out, you know. So she may just step up in his place, place being a vice president. And when this, this, this war does really kick off, they can't switch over it. Whether Trump win or whoever win, um, they can't switch. So she'll just be in there. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this voting is maybe uh, caught up in nonsense. And if that's the case... Bro, these Trump uh supporters, man, they gonna go, they gonna go eight shit on this place. Mm -hmm. The purge. It's gonna be the tur the purge, come. Huh? Mm hmm. That's exactly what we saw in that movie. Um, things wasn't going um as as certain things was planned politically. Um, you know, concerning the presidents and war and stuff, and people just gonna flip out. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's part of prophecy too. The uproars of the people, mm -hmm. um, nation against nation. You know, individuals having swords in their hand. What's the modern day sword? You know, different uh, weaponry such as a gun. Okay, so yeah, man, we're witnessing all these things. Wanna um, oh, say, say something you got too. Like you got the uproar of the people, 
and uh in bangladesh what three weeks ago oh yeah two yeah. weeks ago they, they basically uh had uh curfews and whoever was out late at night would get shot on site this is the type of stuff that the service of prophets will tell you there's going to be curfews here in america what i mean what if, like the brother shalama said what if this election don't come to pass and i believe that uh Biden is probably in the grave anyway. They 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 playing. They probably could be playing tricks on people. If she's in there, and all of a sudden he he so called drops dead, that's gonna cause uproars of the people, man. These, mm -hmm. these, these Trump supporters, especially up here in Georgia, man, they're gonna go they're gonna go crazy, man. And then down in Venezuela, you had the same thing oh, where uh, Maduro, they said it was a rigged election, and he got his third term in office, and they took to the streets. But mm -hmm. you know, when this comes to America, it ain't gonna be no these people ain't gonna be getting shot at with rubber bullets, man. It's gonna be hollow tips. Right. Yep. Shoot, me and the brother Shalama, um, earlier today we saw the video of um what was that, Ukraine? Um, the soldiers was actually just grabbing up random people on the streets by the arm or however they did it and basically trying to get people in the military. Right in front of their families. You have individuals tussling and fighting and wrestling, okay? So, hey, man, things are going to be right at um, you individual's front door. You know, it's just up to us, Lord willing, you know, there will be a part of the number to be delivered and to keep praying for safety. Because mm -hmm. we, we have the ability to actually escape judgment. Okay, it's going to get real out here. But um, you want to finish that second Ezra's 9, and then we can just get Joel's second chapter? Okay. Uh, verse 2, it says... Then shall I understand it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Mm -hmm. Verse 3 it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And I remember too, even, um, yeah, it's talking about earthquakes, but you can have earth, uh, quaking events if that makes sense yeah, like a, yeah yep to where um like the uh assassination on dj uh trump yeah that was a shaking event to a lot of people yep. see stuff like that um not too long ago uh those iranians they had a sit down and they were doing that chant if you guys um know what i mean okay yep. basically they don't mess with um Babylon the Great, aka America. They don't mess with Israel. You see what I'm saying? Pretty much putting curses up on these things. <laughs> yeah. Speaking evil of it, you know, because mm -hmm. they, they want to see it fall. Yeah, so there's a lot of events and uproars going on. You got it, bro. Okay. Um, verse uh, four, it says, For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So it just manifests until those who are measuring the time diligently in itself. It is manifest for those who will have a, um, the eye salve to see it. Okay, it's manifest for those who just ultimately believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because we see it. Why do you think the scriptures uh, consistently said twice in a row, back to back, saying, you shall well understand. You shall well understand. Two different verses. Because if, if you just understand what's going on, you're in the know. Okay? And in order to be on a note, and this type of note, which is spiritual, it has to be a power, which is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? But, um. Okay. But yeah, I want to go back to this article and get this Joel too, uh, because this is prophecy right here. It says uh, the, pen the Pentagon will send an additional fighter squadron and more warships to the Middle East to help defend Israel should Iran react militarily to this week's assassination of the Hamas top. Politician leader Tehran in Tehran that Iran has blamed on Israel, and I believe um was it it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but Russia came out saying like if they fly over there with their fighter jets or whatnot, hey, it's war time, it's game time. Oh yeah, okay. Um, and they said something else. Just roughly paraphrasing everything. Bear with me. That um, if they did any type of attack to help or back up Israel, then also it would be game time. Mm -hmm. And this they coming, said they was gonna shoot down those uh, uh, American drones. Yeah, yeah. So hey, <laughs> we seeing prophecy right, right here, man. Yep. We're living in it. But as far as uh, Salaki, I, I wanted to it's associate you got the scripture it. with this, uh, with this headline because it said they're sending more troops and uh, military to the Middle East. Now this is prophecy. This is prophecy in Joel two and twenty. It says, "But I will remove far off from you the northern army." 
It's talking about North America. Mm -hmm. It says, and will drive him into a, a land barren and desolate. And it's talking about the Middle East. Uh, basically, it's talking about uh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it gives, uh, it even gives a more of a, a identity because it says, with his face towards the East Sea, which is the uh, the the Meta, uh, Euphrates. Mm -hmm. And it says in his hinder part towards the utmost sea, and that's the um, uh, Red Sea. And it says, and his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he had done great things. So yeah, they talking about sending these troops over, there, and that's straight up out of the scriptures that they was gonna be in that particular area. And mm -hmm. and, it, and it's no coincidence that we're in the last seconds of this, you know, Esau's kingdom, and they actually going to, according to prophecy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's the Lord's story. And for those who read about stories, knowing about stories, or look at movies, each movie or each story has a setting. Mm -hmm. And in this case, within this chapter, the setting is going to be over there in the Middle East. Right. Okay, I believe there's scriptures on how the Euphrates is going to be dried up. For what? For World War Three. Right. Okay? So, again, you know, we're seeing everything. It's like a domino effect. We, each domino that falls... It, it equates to prophecy, and it's going to lead all the way over there, man, until the Lord comes back. And also over here to when the Lord comes and destroys this place, man. Okay? But um, that's pretty much all you had. Want to go to that Joel? Okay, this is Joel 3, and I'm going to start. I start at verse 1. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all nations... And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And it says, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So the Lord is gathering all nations to, to bring each nation that are all about, you know, military war and stuff like that over there in the valley of Jehoshaphat, which mm -hmm. the brother already broke down. Okay. You got it up. And it says, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Mm -hmm. Which actually happened. You can continue on. All right, I'm going to go down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, verse 9, it said, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare a war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And, you know, that, that, that pretty much already happened. Yeah. Yeah, these other nations, they, they ready to go down, man. They ready to throw down. Russia already said that he done supplied these other uh, nations with, with the weapons that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, United States doing the same thing with, you know, Israel and, and, and Ukraine. So, hey, it, it's, it's pretty much go time. They just they just waiting on, like, the two major two major uh, superpowers, which is United States and Russia. Yep. Once they get involved, that's it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they waiting on that... Uh the fulfillment of Jeremiah 49 and 20 where the scriptures say the least of the flock should draw them out. Yep, yep. You're going to see more. Hey, we already see it now. You had this uh, Hamas leader that got um, put to death. Mm -hmm. All right. And then they were chanting DTA. All right. Iranians were chanting DTA. You're going to see more um, conflict and wars between, proxy wars between um, Israel and Iran. They're going to go back and forth to the point that, hey, the Lord is going to uh, fulfill his will. All right, because the scriptures say his word don't come back void. So all the stuff that we seeing is, is, is biblical prophecy. You know, uh, you know, going to that scripture that uh, Brother Shalom I was bringing about Joel two and twenty. All right, Saudi Arabia they were trying to build this uh, trillion dollar line city throughout uh, Saudi Arabia, but that got put on hold. You know why? Because the Lord is putting uh, the spirit on these nations to go to war. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that was perfectly said. You know. Um... Did brothers have anything else, or I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it on up? Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much the point. Okay, kind. Well, that's pretty much the point. You know, um, for those who tuned in, that was the message for this video. And Lord willing, you've been edified. You know, things are starting to get tight, as you can see, um, concerning the news and different articles. Hey, this thing is real, man. All right, we keep hearing rumors of wars, and we see actual war taking place. All right, so hey, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So. Okay. We're going to close out by giving all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Chakwadash, that were honest to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone once again. And peace, love, and salutations towards you, hopeful elect, dispense sincerely pushing the truth. Until the next lesson, Shalom. Shalom.